Let's see now the power rule. The power rule is the formula to derive shortcuts. So this is the fun part of calculus. Everyone can derive, so if we can derive, we got so happy and we are so confident about our math skills. So the power rule is just very easy. If fx is equal to x to the power n, then the derivative of this will be n x to the power of n minus 1. So it's just a simple formula. So let's say whenever we say find derivative is the same as differentiate. We can say sometimes differentiate. Differentiate means differentiate means find the derivative. So find the derivative, let's say some questions here. Let's y equal to x cube. To find the derivative of y equal to x cube, we just use the power rule. Now it's easy. dy dx is 3 is exponent. It comes to in front. 3x to the power 2. It's done. We don't use the first principles. We use the first principles only if we are asked to use that. If not, we never use it. So y equal to x cubed, derivative is 3x squared. Let's say b fx equal to 4 x to the power 5. If I are given fx, I write f prime x, which means the derivative. 4 in front of x stays the same, so it will be 5 times 4, 20 x to the power of 4. That's done. And we can say derivative, if I had a line, this is y equal to 4. The slope of this line is 0. It's a horizontal line. Therefore, if I'm given a constant, since slope of tangent, slope means derivative, the derivative of constant is always 0. So here slope is 0. Therefore, derivative of constant is zero. Derivative of constant is zero. Okay, so let's see some questions too. Okay, so let's, if I have y equal to 3x to the power 4 minus 5x to the power 3 plus 8. The derivative of this is dy dx, 12x to the power 3 minus 15x to the power 2. The derivative of 8 is 0. That's done. If I had d y equal to pi to the power 4 minus x dy dx pi to the power 4 is constant so the derivative of constant is 0 the derivative of x is 1 therefore minus 1 therefore this derivative will be negative 1 if i had y equal to 3 over x to the power 4. First, I bring this up. 3 x to the power minus 4. And then the derivative of that will be minus 12 x to the power of minus 5. Or I use positive exponent only x to the power of 5. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see some problem here. Find a point on the parabola y equal to x square plus 5x minus 1 where the slope of the slope of tangent is 1. Therefore, now we have the power rule. So the slope of tangent is 1. To find a point. So we have slope of tangent. It is the derivative of that, which is 2x plus 5. Since the slope of tangent equals the slope of tangent 1, so we say 2x plus 5 equal to 1, 2x equal to negative 4, x equal to negative 2. Since we are looking for a point, and the point is two numbers, so I have to find the value of y. y equal to minus 2 square 5 times minus 2, which is 4 minus 10. Therefore, the point is negative 2, negative 6. That's my answer. Oh, minus 1 here we have. Minus 1, sorry, minus 1, minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 is minus 7. So, it's minus 7. The so point is negative 2, negative 7.